Hi everyone, this is Marcia. I am back with part three of that glass jar. It looked like a bowl. The one with the glass in it. <laughs> but we're, we're past that. I am going to continue showing what's in this container. And we still have the earrings after this. So um, let me put this off to the side. I'll get some stuff on the mat and we'll start looking at this. Okay, we have a couple more of those loci bracelets. I don't know what the orange is, but I can always look it up. Oh. This says the running child is a registered uh, trademark of Save the Children. So I know they do different themes, different organizations, different causes, I should say. So anyway, this one is a medium, and this one, okay, so we've got those two. I find them interesting. Here we have a couple of the woven um, cloth bracelets. That's pretty. Hmm, like that macrame. Okay. Ooh. Well, this is one of those bolo necklaces, but the chain is missing. Ooh. This is kind of like the other one we got, the other two with the beads. That's too tight. There's a way to prevent that, but apparently they did not do it, <laughs> but white and kind of a turquoise color. For a minute there, I thought we might have sterling. Cute wine necklace. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's got that rosary beading. Here's another um, silicone bracelet. Celebrate courage. There you go. What is this? Second year. Sorry. Second year of what? It just says Broadman Supplies USA. So I guess it's just the people that made the pen, but I don't know what it's in relation to. Okay. Well, we have a Red Hats, Red Hat Society hat, and it's missing some of the purple. Some of the band. Oh, it's interesting. What is it? One of those? This is like those seeds. So this is natural. Don't know what this is. Scratchy. That's what it is. Hmm. These have a name. I don't know. They're not the same ones that come from Hawaii, I don't think. They look different. But we got that, and we, we've got a little seashell. Dipped. Gold dipped. And it's green. Pretty. I like that. And this... We have a bunch of S's. <laughs> That's what the scroll work reminds me of. It reminds me of S's. Well, there you go. Answers my question. And we have this. This looks like a little jacket pull, zipper pull, like a woman's hand holding a holding a heart. Could be pewter. I'm cute. Oh, I don't know. Sequins, black sequins. Maybe part of an earring. Don't know. 
Well, we've got this little bracelet done in rose gold tone. It's cute. Okay, all oh, the rhinestones are there. Oh, we, these are plastic. Green beads. Oh, this is cute. Barrel clasp, white seed beads, and purple shells. Huh. I wonder what this is. Is there white coral? It's very rough. Very rough. Interesting. Hmm. Looks like it's a part of a slider. Oh, is this broken? Yeah, this is broken. And the pieces that hook it together are broken. And it's just acrylic beads, but I mean cabochons. But maybe something can be done with it. You never know. There's a lot of talented people out there. Okay, we got a clasp on this. Yes, we do. Again, rose gold tone. Interesting. This is messed up. Here we go, I think. Anyway. It's acrylic. Three strand. Necklace. LC. So that's Liz Claiborne. Yep. It even says it on the flip side. It has it spelled out Liz Claiborne. Okay, so we've got a silver tone chain. These look gold tone. So maybe this, I don't know, maybe this is. Maybe it is gold tone. These are heavy. Very heavy. It's got a lot of wear on it. Or maybe it's just dirty. We'll clean it up and see what happens. Well, this is pretty. A little pendant. Gold tone pendant with a pink rhinestone. Cute. And here is a bead with a cross. Oh, here's a bead, same type of bead with, um, you know, the silver tone bead, but with the um, glass bead as a dangle. So, gee, I wonder what, they look similar, so I'm wondering if it was a bracelet or something. I'm finding more earrings in this mix. I pulled a lot of the earrings out as I was going through, trying to be careful not to cut myself. But apparently I missed some. Um, oh, is this a Y necklace? Got a knot in it, but it's kind of different. Oh, kind of cute, and I see a piece of glass. Let's see, it's not good. I do not want to get cut. I think that happened to Barbara over at um, 
jewelry pirate. She got cut, and I, I guess it was glass. I don't remember exactly what it was, but she got cut reaching into one of these jewelry drawers. You got to be careful, people. Here's another earring. Here's a bracelet. And these are just plastic beads. Oh, here's a pair. Oh, that's cute. Pink with black spots or navy blue spots. Oops. Oh, this is oh, this is cute. What's well, a bee? With flowers. Oh, that's cute. It's all glass. Oh, this is pretty too. Oh, it's a green elephant. Oh, come on, elephants aren't green. <laughs> it's got an upturned trunk. Hairs, maybe? No, nothing. It's got the tag, but nothing on the tag. And again, it's. They, they laid it flat and crimped it off instead of rounding it when they did it because it's, there's no play in it. See how it buckles? It's not good. What is this, a watch back? Quimax? Don't have the watch though, I don't think. This looks like uh, part of a slider bracelet. This is pretty. Thick gold tone heart. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe dyed halite, but I don't know what this was supposed to be. Maybe a shawl pin, but it's not long enough to close. Here we got a little heart. That's cute. Another little heart. I said heart. Cross. I guess I've got this on my mind. <laughs> we have a cross. Double-sided. And a silver tone. Cross. And we have a little Okay, that's not going to work. A little pendant. Pearl pendant, and I don't know what that is. It feels like paper. I guess it was on it anyway. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple of these. I don't know if they were. I guess they were earrings. Oh, look what I found! I found a match to that DT. So if you have a man in your life or a woman in your life that uh, has the initials DT, you might want to get her a pair of cufflinks or him, him or her. It's unisex. Men, men or, and women can wear cufflinks. Um, let's get this out of the way. This is not jewelry. I'm not going to be able to show it all. This is a belt. My goodness, look, it's a belt. See? And trying to get it, it's not, doesn't want to lay flat. Anyway, it's a stretch belt. Yeah, it's a stretch belt. And it's in a jewelry jar. It's not jewelry. <laughs> I don't care how blingy this piece is, it's not jewelry. <laughs> Anyway, we've got that, and we've got some odd pieces that I, yeah. Handmade earring, I don't know.
Got that. What else do we have? Got another belly button ring. We've got this. This reminds me of um, that one piece that I got, and someone told me it was called a widow's mite. But it was a gold, a gold tone. But that's what that reminds me of. So it may have been, this might be a replica of some type of ancient coin. And, oh, we got another one of these screwy things. Surely this is... Not an earring. And we've got this. Kind of looks like a rivet jeans for jeans. And we've got a couple of these, whatever these are. Got a bunch of earring parts, earring backs. I don't know, I think this may have been an earring. It's just painted. Heart. And we found my hands. Look how dirty my fingers are. We found that little pumpkin that goes on. Um, it was a card, card of Claire's earrings. And this was a dangle off of one of the earrings. So we found that. Yeah, I gotta be careful. We got a bunch of little parts here. I guess I could wait and show this on the earring video, but anyway, we've got this, and with I'm guessing this probably was part of an earring, but it's all bent up. Um, there's a hoop earring. There's something that has a little like amethyst beads. I keep going off to the side. I am so sorry, guys. I don't know. They might be, or they just might be little glass beads. That this cute little dangle. And then we have um, this. I guess this is the back of a post. You know, one of those double-sided. I don't know what they call them, but you've got you can reverse them. And then just a bunch of earring backs. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not, there's something else in there. This, these are all earring backs. I've got this. Methodist, lay leader church. Methodist church, lay leader, okay. So I guess that was a tie tack, uh, tack pen. And this, I guess, I don't know. Is it supposed to be the back for an earring? No, like you, like a jacket, like an earring jacket. I don't know. Perhaps. Alrighty, well. Except for the earrings, which let me show you how many we'll have. All of these earrings were in there. These are post style. These are kind of um, fish hook. And then we have the clip ones. And look like some interesting ones, but we'll do that on the next video. Anyway, I guess we'll have a part four for the earrings. There's a lot of them. So until that next video, you all take care. Bye-bye.